All right, let's talk about the latest champion in the contest, Spider Punk. And I had a fun time testing this guy. I just love his animations. He has uh, concussion immunity, rupture immunity, encore, and taunt. Some unique immunities and abilities in his kit. And I like them. They're, they're different. I like that he's different. But let's talk about his combo first. What is his combo like? At first, he's a little bit, I, I'm not going to say clunky, but it does take some time to get used to his animations because he reminds me a little, he, he jumps all over the screen, kind of like um, Stealth Spider-Man a little bit, but just a little bit different. And um, his SP2, the timing on that thing, it's going to take some time. I might put a short, on, short out on how to play or how to master his SP2 because his SP2 definitely does take some time to get used to. Just keep that in mind. And but other than that, I had a bunch of fun playing this guy. I like his animation. His SP3 is kind of awesome. I like the way he glows and like the new mechanics he has, like Encore and his taunt, even though his taunt doesn't really last that long, but we're going to get in that more so a little bit later. Overall, decent champion. Let's talk about his strengths. Rupture their eardrums. A large portion of Punk's damage comes from his SP2, dealing some truly devastating damage. So if you can master his um, minigame and his SP2, you're going to be golden. Um, taunt and Encore to increase specials. Punk's got a taunt on his heavy, incredibly useful for baiting specials, especially considering the final hit does not grant the opponent power when they are above a bar power. Additionally, Encore is a signature ability that affects opponents more likely to throw the same special attack multiple times in a row. Keep in mind, when you do a heavy and get the taunt, it doesn't last that long. I think I would much rather use his Encore, so he kind of does need to be awakened, but he doesn't need high stick, so... That's great, but when they, you do have an Encore, you can reduce their um, ability. Uh, well, you can reduce their damage because, it, well, we'll get into that. Uh, let's talk about his uh, counterattack, another one of his strengths. Punk's counterattack evade is incredibly powerful, similar to the characters like Elsa Bloodstone and Kate Bishop. This well time block is triggered, incredibly useful, and can deal with threatening, unblockable basic attacks. So he's actually pretty decent uh, with unblockable as long as you have his evade up. Um, another one of his abilities, Rupture Immunity. Rupture Immunity is still quite rare in the contest, and this immunity will allow Punk to deal with a few threats in Mystic, such as Werewolf by Night and Rentra. So he can be okay for um, rare, um, Werewolf by Night and Rentra, especially he's a Rupture Immunity. But he does have weaknesses. And one of his weaknesses is Physical Resistor, physical Resistant and Rupture Immunity. All of Punk's damage is physical, and a large portion of it is in the form of ruptures. If Punk runs into an opponent with Physical Resistance or Rupture Immunity, he may struggle to get some damage going. So keep that in mind. Physical Resistance, he just... Not, I don't think he does any energy damage. Also, Rupture Immune. Not many champions are Rupture Immune, but Spider-Punk versus Spider-Punk and, you know, Scorpion, he can go Rupture Immune, so keep that in mind. Also, getting your timing down. Punk has a timing minigame in his SP2 that grants him an additional rupture if you nail it perfectly. While it isn't too difficult with a little practice, you may struggle at first to fall into a group, and that's very true. Also, anti-evade. Punk's intercept protection is locked behind his ability to perform well time block evade. If you can't perform this, you may be playing with fire for a bit. Yeah, so if you can't evade, or if someone shuts down your raid with true strike, he'd be rendered kind of helpless. And also Purify. Punk's Rupture are debuffs, and this can be countered with Purify, Cleanse, and Tranquilize. Make sure your target and their quest notes don't have these effects, or you could see your damage drastically go down. That is very true. Like, keep that in mind. So he's not really good with skilled champions, since all of his are debuffs. Let's talk about his immunities. We already talked about him being Rupture Immune. He's also Concussion Immune. Not many champions in the cha contest are Concussion Immune and rupture i mean but yeah he, you can't um you can't put a concussion on him unless it's passive if it's a passive uh concussion then yes he will be affected by it but it's not he's not affected by an actual concussion debuff so that's something to be no um be aware of aware of let's talk about his awaken ability now when i was playing him i thought he he does need high stick but he does need to be awakened when the opponent finishes the special attack inflict an encore passive for the corresponding special meaning the same special when the Encore is active, the opponent is 70% more likely to throw the, special, the same special attack, max stacks 3. Encore passives are removed if the opponent performs a special attack different than the active Encore. For each Encore passive active, the opponent attack rating during special attack is reduced by 24%. So that's well over 70% for if you got all three Encore passives. Inflicting an Encore passive when a... Uh, when the Encore is already active, has 100% chance to inflict a uh, personal rupture debuff. This is not affected by ability accuracy modification. So 
And I do think he needs to be awakened. And if you want that reduced um, attack rating, he does need high SIG. But I just want him awakened just to get the Encore passer because the opponent more likely to throw the 70%, a 70% uh, chance to throw that same special twice. And manipulating the AI in this era of MCOC is definitely beneficial, in my opinion. He also has pretty decent prestige as well. I believe his prestige is 18,330. So not bad prestige. If you choose to take him to SIG 200, in my opinion. So yeah, I, I think, I don't know if I would use generic six stones on him. I would rather you just use, this awaken him and have him, you know, rank up generic or regularly than to use generic six stones on him. But that's me, y'all might be different. Let's talk about his synergies. He has synergy with uh, Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, Ironheart, Spider-Gwen, Spider-Ham, and Penny Parker, synergy champions, 4%, plus 4% attack rating for each unique synergy champion on the team. And also with uh, Miles Morales, Jessica Jones, the spot. Science champions gain unique abilities depending on who is on the team. Teams, if Spider-Man, Miles Morales is on the team, gain plus 5% attack rating for each Spider-Verse hero champion on the team. Consistency of Jessica Jones on the team, the final hit of special attack randomly inflicts a 200 potency, physical vulnerability, energy vulnerability, exhaustion, or fatigue buff for, debuff for 8 seconds. If spots on the team, whenever a buff fails, to, fails due to buff immunity, gain a 10 second setup timer when this timer expires, gain an indefinite punch line buff. So, not bad synergies. He also had a synergy with Green Goblin, Red Guardian, Iron Patriot. Spider Punk Punch Ruptures expire 10% slower. This becomes 200% slower against Symbiotes. And he also has Head Split with Prowler. And this is a unique synergy, meaning like Spider Punk, he can activate a pre fight, granting immunity to reverse controls, but his controls are inverted for the whole fight. So it's like I don't understand that synergy, but it's unique. And I don't know if it's going to be used a lot, but your immune reverse controls, which controls are reverse. So. How does okay? But moving on, let's talk about him on defense. On defense, I don't think he's much of a problem. You really can melt him with almost anyone. He's kind of squishy. He's, I think he would be used more so offensively than anything else. At, right here, I'm melting him with Archangel. He's not poison immune. He's not bleed immune. His special so special one is easy to dex, and I would just bait out his special. Do not push him to an SP2 because that could do some serious damage. But as long as you stay, um, well within the sp1 he does have that evade so i would also would not recommend intercepting him because he still can evade even when his anti-evade is or his evade is on cooldown so keep that in mind but yeah i don't think he's going to be all that tricky in battlegrounds he's more so an offensive threat than a defensive threat but it's just that tricky evade that may get you every now and again so again don't try not to intercept him or try not to intercept him and try not to parry him either because he's just going to shake it off and do all that kind of stuff, but he wasn't a threat. You should be fine. I think he's gonna be definitely be used offensively in Battlegrounds, but we'll see. Stat focus. The stat focus I recommend since offensively, um, I would definitely recommend uh, special two dam uh, special damage, increasing his special damage. And since he's not really gonna be a threat, if he's gonna know what like power gain, I would just go with special damage 12, increased by 12% and special damage increased by 8% on offense and defense because other than that, he's not really going to be used much on defense. But again, leave a comment below if you think we'll be better with different um, different stat focus. But for the seven star, that's what I went with and I found it to be very effective in my opinion. But you know, I'm pretty sure someone will comment on this video and tell me something different. So I'm here for it. Let me know. Relic. The relic I would definitely recommend for him would be the Hawk Relic. Punk's kit is oriented heavily around physical damage. Additional physical vulnerabilities and bursts of physical damage will allow him to shred through his opponents with even more ease. So if you have the Hawk Relic at a five star or above, I would definitely put that on him. I didn't really find any other good relics for him, in my opinion. I thought his damage was actually pretty good alone, but you know, with Kabam focusing a lot on relics in like act eight and probably moving forward in the future, I would definitely try to keep at least a five-star relic on him if you have the hawk relic on someone else. But overall, paired with that hawk relic, he's gonna do a lot of damage as you're seeing right here. He's that SP2, that rupture damage is something serious. So keep that in mind. Let's talk about masteries. The, the masteries I recommend or Caban recommend is inequity and despair. Honestly, Punk isn't the best science champion to take advantage of inequity and despair since he won't hit the cap super easily. However, this doesn't mean that don't add value to his average fight. The additional attack rating increase on the opponent can help minimize ship damage a bit more, especially if you rely on punks unstoppable. Also dexterity, every champion is good with dexterity. You need to dodge attacks to build up a super crowd, so don't get hit. So 
definitely recommend the, uh, Despair and Equity and Despair. I don't think he would be good for the damage masteries because, you know, you got to throw your SP too. That's how you do most of your damage. So I would stay away from those if you do pull Spider Punk. But that's my opinion. So let's talk about what are my overall thoughts on Spider Punk? Well, let's talk about the pros and cons. Pros, he's fine at low sick. He has unique immunities with the rupture and concussion. He has that evade and that encore can reduce the uh, opponent's attack. So that's not bad. The cons is he kind of does need to be awakened if you want to take advantage of that encore because his taunt doesn't last really long on his heavy. He's weak on defense, so I wouldn't recommend putting him on defense in battlegrounds. His SP2 is difficult to master, like getting the timing down and trying to understand the mini game. I messed up the, the mini game and his SP2 on so many occasions and it was just frustrating, but I finally got an understanding of it. This took some time to get used to, so keep that in mind. And again, on his heavy, that tone is really, really short. It, it's, to be honest, not really worth it to me. I would definitely would rather use the encore over the taunt because the taunt is so short. If he gets rebalanced, hopefully they do extend the taunt a little bit longer because I think it's like one or two seconds and the AI isn't going to throw that special in one or two seconds. It needs to be like maybe five seconds in my opinion, but maybe that might be overkill. I don't know. Overall, I do like him. I love his animations. I think he's going to be good offensively and he might just be a problem. But let me know what you think. If you did like this video, please hit that like button. And for anyone new here, you can hit that sub button. I'd greatly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have a great and wonderful day.